What's up guys, I'm Dr. Silas and I'm a pediatric resident at Brookdale Hospital. I wanted to make this video a few months back but I could not make it because of my busy schedule. But here we are, so let's hop into the video. This video will be regarding the CV and I'm going to talk about the six essential things that you have to take care of while preparing your CV. So the first box will be a blue box and it goes to uh, organizing the CV. One thing that I changed um, during my second cycle from the first cycle is how I wrote my CV and I, I believe that that has made a huge impact on it. So it's important that you uh, organize your CV beautifully. And I got this tip from one of my friends who got matched into radiology. So I believe this is a significant uh, point that you should consider. I wanted to give an example for this one. So this is how I wrote my CV. Uh, for my first application cycle and let's say um, let's example it's a work experience and that's as, as a medical officer in PHCC that means primary healthcare center and uh, what I wrote in explanation was I took a history diagnosis and managed the patient in emergency and outpatient department I also insert the provision and optimization of emergency obstetrics facility, family planning, safe abortion, and regular maternal and child health care. We regularly organized public awareness program and constantly encouraged the government to provide funds for underserved and underprivileged group of Balkot, which is the place where I worked. So, so that's how I wrote during my first application cycle. Let's see how I wrote in my second application cycle and you decide how you want to write. I mean, you can make your own pattern, but make it organized so that it's easier for your reader for your faculties I mean for your attendings to understand what you're trying to say and this is how I wrote during my application cycle second I divided my experiences in three parts like introduction activities and reflection introduction I worked as primary care doctor in Balcourt primary healthcare center we provided facilities through outpatient inpatient and emergency service activities I diagnosed and treated a wide range of pathology from common illnesses like cold and flus to more complex chronic diseases like diabetes, hypertension and asthma. I also performed basic medical procedure like phlebotomy SID staffing. We functioned as competent COVID isolation center during the second wave which led to our center becoming the second busiest COVID center in the district. Last one was the frequent, I frequently served as the acting in charge in primary healthcare center simultaneously performing the administrative and clinical tasks. The reflection was um, this experience enhanced my clinical, administrative, counseling and communicative skills. So that's how I wrote my CV second time and I don't mean that this is the only way to write your CV but what I want to say is organize your CV so that it's easier for all the person to know you better. So the second box is a green box and I gave it to research and publication. Uh, it's really important to have research and publication if you are applying for a university program and um, if you are starting to uh, study for USMLE just focus on this course and also in the research and publications as well because they really matter if you are applying for university programs. If, if you are applying for community program then of course uh, it's good to have research and publication but not as important as like if you are applying for university program. So keep that in mind, organize the research and publication things like I talked in the first one. Uh, the third box is a green box and I give it to the work experience. Uh, if you are a fresh graduate then it's not really important to have a work experience it's a positive point that you are like already a fresh graduate but if you are not a fresh graduate then it's better to have work experience uh, and that makes a huge difference while applying for the community program and in my program as well i think i got mass because of my work experience so do have a good work experience try to work in uh, in, in in the specialty that you are uh, applying for so that is the third one the fourth box is a yellow box and I give it to a volunteer experience so I think uh, work experience and research experiences are much more important than the volunteer experience you I, I heard that you can only mention 10 work experiences or volunteer experiences or research experiences so I would rather go for work and uh, research experiences than volunteer experiences this is a yellow box so it can always fortify all the work and volunteer experiences you're interested in the speciality 
but uh, try to mention more of work and research experiences and less of volunteer experiences. So another yellow box will be for scores again and I think uh, I talked about scores in my previous videos as well. Don't bother too much about the scores, uh, just try to score high and if you don't get good score don't, don't bother much about it. Uh, there are a lot of people who get matched with low scores as well or average scores as well. So it's not a thing that you can do much, if you are starting ju just try to score high and uh, that will help you. So the last box will be your red box and it goes uh, to mentioning things that you have not done in your CV. Yeah. It's a red flag for you. you don't, don't ever mention it in your CV because uh, you cannot explain it. right? So if you have not experienced anything in, in real life, you will get caught somewhere. So don't mention it and just be honest. So those are the six things that I wanted to share with you for preparation of the CV. And uh, if you find it helpful, hit a like button and comment on the comment boxes that you want to hear about, learn more about during your application cycle or anything else. See you.